hello and welcome to my new video in this video i will explain to you my new ready to use ai project it is a generative ai chatbot and you can set up the basic project in minutes in this video i will explain it to you show you the code and the data set and from where you can get the complete code and data set i have run the code now and here you can see it says welcome to the symbolic generative ai knowledge chatbot and you can use it to learn about generative ai and these are some of the supported terms generative ai data sets etc so let me just type and press enter so here this chatbot explains generative ai benefits are creativity automation personalization it uses gans transformers diffusion models large language models etc and i can write a question also or a statement please explain data sets and now it is explaining about the data sets that benefits are improved accuracy wide applicability and uses it works what are the limitations of the data set like bias limited availability privacy concerns etc or i can inquire in the form of a question what are llms in brief now it is explaining about the large language models that benefits are contextual understanding language generation etc and once i am done i can just give exit now let me explain the approach of this symbolic generative ai chatbot to you now this approach has these four steps the first step is symbols and knowledge input so what i have done is i have created a structured knowledge base and this knowledge base i'll show you it contains entities relationships and values then the second step in the approach is rule definition meaning what is the mapping between entities and relationships that i have defined in the knowledge base the third step is creation of the custom python rule engine so what this rule engine does is it processes the user queries it gets the matching data and it crafts the responses and the fourth and the final step is the chatbot interface this is the interactive ui that i showed you that the user can use to type the questions or statements and it shows the answers crafted from the rules and the knowledge base this is the data set that i am using and uh, it is called er.json it's a json file you can also download it along with my code from my github account and the structure of this is that there is entities and within the entities all these are the entities for example transformers is an entity now every entity has some relationships and these relationships are for example benefits uses how it works limitations and examples and we can expand benefits of transformers so it is efficiency parallel processing scalability etc so this is the data set in the json format now let me explain the code to you so after the import statements there is the python function load underscore json and it accepts the file path as the parameter so what it does is it just goes to the path and loads the json file then there is a class rule engine and this is the main class that works on the data set and processes the user query and generates the response so here there are a number of python functions that i have defined you can get all this from my github and here the main function is handle query 
so what handle query does is it is running in a perpetual loop until the user gives exit and what it does is from the entity it finds the entity from the user query so entities we saw for example transformers llms etc so if it is able to find the entity then what it does is it gets all the details now details is a dictionary it contains all those benefits uses works limitations and examples then response is the variable that will contain the actual crafted response so what it will do is it will go and for benefits it will get all the uh, values in the tuples and it will join those values and then finally it prints out the response this is my github link for this project from where you can download all these files er.json is a data set readme file contains all the instructions and the code is in this python file here is the handle query function that i just explained to you i'll also put the github link at the bottom of the description of this video thank you